morning friends it is monday november 20th so i want to say happy monday but this video is actually going up on thursday and this thursday is thanksgiving so really i should be saying happy thanksgiving you can probably tell i'm still slightly congested i feel a lot better than i did last week Last week was terrible. After I got back from Harry Potter World with my dad and my sister, I caught a really bad bug and I had a fever, I had the shakes, I had a cold. I felt like my head was like a block, you know, had a block of cement in it. So it was just a really awful week. I stayed home from work the entire week. It was that bad. So I just spent the week in the weekend totally recouping and resting, getting lots of sleep, drinking lots of orange juice. So I'm still congested, still kind of stuffed up. I have a pretty nasty cough still, but I do sound and feel a lot better than I did even yesterday. So of course it is a weekday and that means I do have to go to work, especially after being sick last week. I'm really behind on a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out the door, but I have a lot of errands I need to run. I basically just have a lot that I need to do over the next two days before I leave to go to Arizona for Thanksgiving, which I'm doing on Wednesday. So by the time you guys see this vlog, I will be in Arizona with my family celebrating Thanksgiving. And I'm really excited about that. But in the meantime, I have a lot that I need to do. <laughs> One of the things I love about holiday weeks is that there's hardly anyone in the office. So it's the perfect time for me to catch up on all the stuff that I've sort of fallen behind on. So I'm gonna get working on that, but I will check in with you guys a little bit later, probably around lunchtime. I got a lot to do. Alrighty, so it is my lunch break. Time to run some errands. Good Lord, traffic was atrocious. I am home now, it's 4.30 in the afternoon. So I did stop at my PO box, which I didn't show on camera because traffic was just atrocious and I just wanted to get in and out of the post office. I feel like everyone's shipping stuff for Thanksgiving, but that's weird because normally you ship stuff for Christmas. So I don't know what was going on, it was just a zoo. So stopped at my PO box, I got quite a few letters and packages and I also did get my November Minx Lit Box. So I'm going to do that unboxing in this video as well as open up some of those other letters and packages and all those fun goodies. So let's go ahead and get into this P.O. Box haul. Although I really feel like I wanna change my clothes. <laughs> I can buy you all the toys in the world, but the bag is your favorite. Well, that's fun. You say hi to everyone, hello. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. You miss me today, I missed you. You were such a ham. Oh, I know, I know, you just want, you just want some belly rubs, huh? Ham, such a ham boy. It's like you, oh, look at those paws. Well, hello there. All right, so I have a cat up here if you see her walking across the screen, but she may just sit at the edge of the table. But in my P.O. box, I received my Minx Lit Box for the month of November, and I wanted to go ahead and open it up for you guys on camera. And in case you didn't know, the Minx Lit Boss is for the bold, beautiful, and creative. It's a creative girl boss subscription box. It's really awesome. I believe I've gotten three of them, if I remember correctly, and I've loved every single box. So I am super excited to open this one up. So the first thing I pulled out is the guide. It's the little spoiler guide that tells me what's in the box. So I'm not gonna read that just yet. All right, the first thing is a cute little packet of stuff. So there's this really cute quote that says, never let the things you want 
make you forget the things you have. I love that because I'm all about gratitude. There's also some Ghirardelli hot cocoa, which is really exciting. You just add hot water for instant decadence. Oh, this is perfect because it's been 40 degrees outside, so hot cocoa is a must. There's also some really cute paper clips, but they're like squares, so they're not your normal paper clips. And there's this cute little pouch that says, all I need is coffee and mascara. This is adorable. I cannot get enough of little pouches like this. I use them for so many random things, but I always seem to run out. So I'm really excited to have another cute little pouch. Then these are really cool. They look, I think they're earrings. Naturally Unique by SOS. That's really cute. They're like at the at symbol. They're at symbol earrings. Looks like she also has money sign earrings and hearts and hashtag sign earrings. So if they're not earrings, I apologize. That's what it looks like from the back here. But those are so fun. I've never seen anything like that before. Then there are some cards from the Tranquil Goddess, which I'm guessing is, yeah, that's what this is. It's an artisan aromatherapy candle in pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla. It's a lot of scents. Oh, but it smells, oh, it smells really good. The Tranquil Goddess has all natural homemade products for home and body with no harsh chemicals, colors, or ingredients that will leave you feeling pampered and tranquil. That's exactly how I want to feel over the next couple of months. The next thing is this Anitaco, Anitaco, I'm probably saying that wrong, organics, but it's this really neat little pouch of three-in-one facial cleansing grains. That's so cute, so it's an exfoliator for your face, which is so, so neat. As you guys just saw, I was running out of my face stuff from Dermalogica, but I really do need to find a new exfoliant, so I'm excited to try this one out. And there's this super cute, I'm not bossy, I'm the boss. It's a weekly desk pad. This is adorable. So. It has, you could put the week and then it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it has all the days listed with little boxes. So it's just nice to have that right in front of you in case you don't have your agenda with you or you just need to scribble something down for one of the days. So that is really, really cute. And then this month's book is the one hour content plan. It's by Mira Cawthand and it's the solopreneur's guide to a year's worth of blog post ideas in 60 minutes and creating content that sells and hooks. This is a really cool concept. Even though I don't blog, I feel like I can still benefit from books like this because it's all about creating content. And whether that content is for a blog or for YouTube or for some kind of program that you're working on, it's really neat to be able to get a book that's interchangeable across all of those platforms. So I'm really excited to dive into this. Okay, so there's always some fun little goodies in this guide, specifically the writing prompts as well as the blog and vlog topics. And it looks like they have teamed up with a branding company for a free 30 minute brand strategy session and also an offer for a specialized virtual assistant, which is really, really cool. So if you guys haven't signed up for your Minx Lit Box yet, I highly recommend you do so and you can get 10% off of your subscription when you use my discount code, Kristen Martin at checkout at minxlit.com. I'll make sure to leave that discount code and all that information in the description box below. And I did this unboxing at the perfect time because Minx Lit is actually offering two great deals for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. The sale started Wednesday, November 22nd, and it's going through Tuesday, November 28th. The first offer is a free zippered creative hustle tote bag with each purchase. You just use the code free tote. And the second offer is buy three, get one free, where you can buy a three month prepaid plan with Meek Slit and then receive the fourth month free. And for that, you can use code B3G1. They will also be participating in a huge 12 days of Christmas giveaway. So make sure you're following them on Instagram at Minx Lit. That way you won't miss out on that giveaway. Okay, so that is the Minx Lit Box. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this fun stack of packages I've got behind me. Okay, so the first package, it's really loud, is one I've already opened because I was really curious to see what it was, but I don't know exactly who it's from because it looks like it's from a company in Singapore, but I'm pretty sure these items are from China because that's what the receipt said. And they are so cool, so I wanna show them to you guys. Yeah, but the receipt says that they came from China, so I'm not 100% sure who sent this. If you did, please let me know. Leave a comment down below, send me an email. I would just, I really wanna thank you because these are so adorable. They're cute little animal things and they're really like squishy and soft. I don't know if you can really see that, but this is like the cutest. It's so cute and it's so soft. I just wanna, it's like a stress ball, but I don't think that's 
That's what it's supposed to be for. So I got this really cute little mouse and then there's this little mermaid and she's winking. And then so adorable, there's also this cat, which I love. So please let me know if you sent these to me because there was no note. And I just, I think that these are absolutely adorable. And I've actually decided I'm going to put them on my bookcase, which I'm gonna show you guys at kind of near the end of this vlog, but I rearranged my bookshelf finally. And I've been wanting to give kind of a bookcase tour and show you guys what's on my shelves. So that's something I'm gonna do a little bit later in this vlog. All right, next is a letter from Kathy from Illinois. so much for writing me and thank you so much for the pen recommendation for everyone out there who's also a penaholic or loves finding new fun pens to write with she recommended the sensa pens and so i've never heard of these and i'm really excited to look them up and find them so thank you so much kathy for such a sweet and heartfelt letter i really do appreciate it and i will be writing you back all right the next letter is from hannah in tennessee and she is a children's author, which is so cool. She sent me some little bookmarks promoting her book that's coming out in April of 2018. Hannah, thank you so much. That is, that's such a neat thing to hear just about your publishing journey. And I will definitely, I know I don't, obviously I'm not a child and I don't have any kids, so I don't normally buy children's books, but your book looks so adorable and I really, I wanna buy it. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for it and then that way I'll be able to use my bookmarks, but I'll use these anyways. Thank you so much. All right, the next letter is from Shannon in Ohio. Oh, Shannon, thank you so much. I'm so happy that you're participating in NaNoWriMo. I myself have fallen a little bit behind, but I'm doing my best to catch up and just you know, stay positive and stay motivated. And I'm sitting here like, I know I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna do everything I can to catch up. So thank you so much for sending me this letter. And I wanna read the quote that she put here from Walt Disney because I love this quote. It says, we keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things because we're curious and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. But thank you, Shannon, for such a sweet note. I really appreciate it. All right, the last two things I've got here are packages. This one is from, well, there's no first name. E-N are the initials in Arkansas. It says you can read this aloud on your vlog if you want, I give you permission. Okay, and it's from Liz. Kristen, I'm sending you a copy of my debut novel as a thank you for helping me write it. I found you on YouTube through Vivian Reese's channel. Shout out to Vivian. And I've watched nearly all of your videos, not just the writing ones, but also the vlogs. I love the vlogs because of you. <laughs> You're so sweet. Because of your videos, I've been able to publish my book. When I was younger, I always wanted to be a best-selling author, but when college came along, I put that thought on the back burner. In recent years, I've been hitting wall after wall and getting depressed due to my job, but you've shown me that I can write and that writing is the best therapy a girl like me could have. I plan on writing more books and becoming a bestseller, so watch out, you got this. But I do hope you love my story. It's a young adult sci-fi fantasy set in the video game world of Devi Omega. Ooh, that's cool. I think this says thug. Sorry if I'm saying, it looks like the word thug, but it says the thug hero and the brains, Annie Mae, have to save their city from an evil corporation and save them from the notorious Ravens gang. I hope to meet you one day and talk about books and our journeys with our writing careers. Love your fan, Liz. Oh, Liz, you are so sweet. I am so excited to open this. This is so neat looking. So it's called Loading Life by E.N. Chafin, Chaffin, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. So sorry. Ah, oh, she signed it and everything. I am so excited to read this. I love this bookmark, so adorable. And then she also sent her business card. So Liz, thank you so much for sending this to me. This looks so good and I'm really excited to read it. Genre is right up my alley. So I am so excited to dive into this. Thank you so much. All right, and the last package is a large one. It is from Kirsten in Oregon. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Please look at this card. Oh, so this is amazing. What's happening? Oh my gosh, I feel like it's Christmas right now. Okay, let's open this first. Okay. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is so pretty. It's a notebook and half of it is kind of like a gray marble and then the other half is this light pink. Girl, you know me well because this is exactly the kind of journal I would pick up for myself. I'm so happy that you sent me a notebook because I was just thinking about how I should have gone to TJ Maxx because I just ran out of notebooks and I should have picked up a few more, but you sent me one, so there's no need for me to do that. Oh, another cute bag and another cute bag. And this is 
from Sephora. Oh my gosh. Kirsten, you have outdone yourself. She sent me Trader Joe's green tea infused mints. I'm just gonna move this because the box, just because it looks kind of strange. And then some It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. She said in her note that they were out of Kat Von D's Lolita, since that's a lipstick that I always wear. I'm not wearing it right now, actually. I ate it off <laughs> at lunch and then just never reapplied it. But she sent me this new color, which is Cathedral, which looks very similar to Lolita, a little bit less um, bold but I'm excited to try that because I, I've never tried Cathedral before. There's another lipstick, Rouge Dior. It looks like another lip from Bite Beauty. This is amazing, this is so much stuff. And one from Tarte, it's a lip paint. And then just some really cute little samples, a fresh jelly mask, green superfood powder. Ooh, I will definitely use that. Mint chocolate chip infusion, that sounds amazing. And Hungarian water essence. So I think this is for your skin. Yes, it's for your skin. That's not all, folks. Oh my gosh. She sent me like, I feel like it's like a, a care kit or like a care package, but there's all this cute stuff for like having a little spa night, like with this little brush and these little like exfoliator pads. Oh my gosh. Kirsten, this is, this is so sweet. I can't even tell you how sweet this is. There's also these really cute earbuds and they're in purple. And these little shimmer palettes, this one's from Tarte and this one's from Sephora. And then she sent me candles. Oh my gosh. I feel like I am set for Christmas. Like I have everything that I need right here. This is amazing. So let's look at the first candle. These are Avon candles. I remember her telling me that these were her favorite candles and I didn't know where to get them. Probably, I probably could have just looked online, but she sent me three candles. Oh my gosh. Autumn day is what this one is called. And let me tell you, it smells exactly like if you were to walk outside and the leaves have just fallen. Oh, I love that. Then we have Winter Wonderland, another Avon candle. Oh, okay, that smells amazing. Um, I think I might have a new favorite candle brand because I've been a Bath and Body Works person for a really long time, but Oh my gosh, that one smells amazing. Oh, and the last one is fresh apple, which is always such a good scent, no matter what time of year it is. But I feel like all of these together smell really, really good. So it's like the perfect fall and winter combination of candles. Hersted, thank you so much. This is, this is like just the sweetest package. I felt like Hermione in, I can't remember which Harry Potter movie it is, where she has that bag. It's like an ever extending bag and she just keeps going in there and pulling stuff out of this bag. I felt that way when I was opening this box. I just kept pulling stuff out and loving each thing even more than the last. So thank you so much for all of the makeup, for the journal, for the spa kit, for the candles, for the earbuds. Oh my goodness, thank you. I am so happy right now. Ah, you smell so good. So I did wanna show you guys that I did put my Ravenclaw crest up on my wall and I think it looks so good up there. So the picture that was originally there really had no meaning to me whatsoever, so. But before I forget, I do wanna show you guys my bookshelves because I actually redid them. Now we kind of need to ignore the bottom two shelves. I'm still working on those. I tried to make them organized, but I wanna show you guys just kind of my shelves and what I've got going on. All right, so this first shelf really has no rhyme or reason as to why it is the way it is but I put a lot of my favorite books in the center here. I'll be honest, I only read halfway through Cinder, but I really did like what I read, I just haven't finished it yet. And I haven't read Snow Like Ashes, and I got halfway through Shadow Bright and Burning, so I guess I'm kind of lying when I'm saying that all my favorite books are right here. But it's because I have Hush Hush down here and then the rest of the series, which I also haven't read. So I will amend my statement to say that this shelf in the center are the books that I either started reading or that I really want to read. So now that I'm thinking about it, I think that's actually how I'm going to keep track of my TBR and what books I want to read next is to put them in this little center console. I was really just doing it because they all looked really nice together. And then this is also, I don't know if you guys remember, but it's the Christmas monkey that Nicole sent me. So I have him sitting there in my Author Life mug, which in case you didn't know, you can order these. I made them and you can get them on pillows and a bunch of other stuff. 
It's on Society6, so I will leave the link to the store in the description box below. On the next shelf, I have some Lee Bardugo books as well as Sarah J. Moss. I have the lovely Lindsay Cummings books, The Murder Complex and The Death Code. And then in the center here, I did put my books at the top. I also put The Hunger Games, and this is a hardcover version of the Alpha Drive that I put there, as well as my autographed copy of Queen of Shadows because that is one of my most prized possessions. And I have the rest of Sarah J. Moss's books and then Marie Lu's Legend Trilogy, which is more science fiction dystopian. So this shelf is like a mixture of sci-fi and fantasy. And then if you go down here, it's my Harry Potter shelf. So you can obviously tell I have the books, but I have my little Draco pop art dude, as well as Ron Weasley. And then this is my hazel wand that I got at Harry Potter World that you guys saw in last week's vlog, as well as the map of Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley that they give you when you get an interactive wand. I also have Hermione's Time Turner, a Hogwarts notebook, I have Salazar Slytherin's card from my chocolate frog that I ate. And I do have this really cool Hogwarts wax and seal kit, I figure as a writer and someone who writes letters, that that was a really cool thing to have. So that is my Harry Potter shelf. And then below that, again, this is just another hodgepodge of books. The only books I've read on this shelf actually, now that I'm looking at them, are the Twilight books. And then I did read the program. Oh, and I did read the Stephen King book, which is Dr. Sleep. But these other books, I actually have not had a chance to read yet. So moving to the right, we have, this is more of my contemporary bookshelf. So you see, I don't really have as many contemporary books as fantasy and sci-fi. But I do have some Emery Lord books, quite a few Colleen Hoover books because I love her. I have a couple of John Green books as well. And then you go up a shelf and again, this is kind of just another hodgepodge. So a lot of these books came in my Alcrate boxes, the ones that are all pretty much listed right here that I have not read yet. So again, I'm putting those in the middle to kind of remind me I really want to read them. I just haven't gotten around to them yet. I don't know if you noticed these two books, but I got those from some of my fans in my P.O. box. So they are sitting proudly on my bookshelf. And then this shelf is again, sort of a hodgepodge, but these books all have darker themes in my opinion. So you have Gone Girl, Lady Midnight, J.K. Rowling's other books, The Cuckoo's Calling and The Silkworm, Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. You also have Marie Lu's Dark Fantasy series, The Young Elites, her newest book, War Cross. We have Lainey Taylor's Daughter of Smoke and Bone series, and then Sarah J. Moss's A Court of Thorns and Roses. And then you'll kind of come over here and you'll see that they're all just darker themed books. And this top shelf has quickly become a favorite of mine because it's more of my girl boss nonfiction shelf. So you'll notice there's some space here. That's because my You Are a Badass books by Jen Sincero, those are sitting in my bedroom on my nightstand. So I normally have those right in there. I've read Hashtag Girl Boss. I've read Big Magic, Mastering Your Mean Girl, Light is the New Black, Adventures for Your Soul, Eat, Pray, Love, and 52 Ways to Live a Kick-Ass Life. So I've read all of those books. I have not read Pretty in Ink at the top there, but I've read a lot of these and they were just my absolute favorite. So this is a mix of the books that I've read and loved and also some that I really want to read because I think they're going to be really good. So, and then at the top there, I have my vision board or my inspiration board. And then I do have the hardcover versions of my books at the top there. So yeah, that is the current state of my bookshelf. I'm still working on a few things to make it a little bit prettier and trying to go through some of the books that maybe I don't want anymore that I can donate. But yeah, I really, I'm liking the way that it looks. All right, so I know from past experience with my vlogs that when I do unboxings and PO box hauls that I end up getting a lot of footage and it ends up making the vlog really, really long, which is totally fine, but I don't wanna go past the 30 minute mark because then it takes forever on YouTube to upload. I actually have a lot of catching up I need to do for Nano, so that is what I'm going to do right now. And then I'm gonna cook dinner and continue to catch up on Nano and then eventually get ready for bed and go to sleep and then wake up and go to work tomorrow morning. But like I said, I will be in Arizona for Thanksgiving when this vlog does go up. So again, happy, happy Thanksgiving. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to support my channel. And just to let you guys know, my video and vlog schedule is still going to be going on like it normally does. So Mondays and Thursdays, even though I am traveling and 
I am currently in Arizona when this vlog does go up. There will be a video going up on Monday, November 27th, and then there will also be a vlog. It'll be my Arizona trip Thanksgiving vlog that will go up on Thursday, November 30th. So everything's good so far with my video schedule. It's been really hectic with NaNoWriMo and all of my travel and getting sick, but I'm doing the best that I can to keep up with it. So I really appreciate all of your guys' support and understanding, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.